Hey there, this is Jay from JCAD. Today I'm making a video talking about AutoCAD interface inside a drawing. So the first step to look into that, we just need to either start a new drawing or open an existing file. So I'm just gonna click on the start drawing button. Okay, it's it's referencing one of the, the templates I opened before. And I'm just gonna go to the model. Right now it's opening on a layout. So let's go back to the model and let's look in here. Okay, so just to mention, I'm using AutoCAD LT specifically. AutoCAD LT or AutoCAD Lite have, uh, have less ribbons compared to the full AutoCAD version. So, so you might see that you might have more menus or more palettes on the top here so that's just something to to mention okay other than that the interface is mostly the same and just a quick reminder AutoCAD Lite only does 2D drawing the AutoCAD full version offers a 3D drawing as well all right so jumping right back into the AutoCAD interface so in AutoCAD, there are several areas you would want to recognize right here on the top. You have you have a little bit of commands. They're aligned. They're they're lined in a single line here. You have it on the top left. You have on the top right. You also have in the bottom right corner, and you also have on the left left um, left bottom corner. And then you also have uh, plenty of commands here. They're all grouped under certain names like draw modify annotation layers and you can switch between the ribbons here to see different kind of comments and then right under that you have here um, the file tab so what i want to do i kind of want to take a quick note of this i'm just going to bring in the notepad i opened this earlier and i'm kind of i want to write them down a little bit so here we go we have application button so the application button is essentially this big red button right here with the with the AutoCAD logo on it uh, if we click on it to it open this menu uh, which is used which is used to open to save to save as and to print the the drawing you have open right now okay and I'm gonna bring back notepad so that's the application button right beside it here this is the quick access toolbar quick access toolbar okay and this one has pretty much shortcuts or just icons that reference the application the application menu um, you can use them you can use the mouse to click on here to start a new drawing or to open a drawing to save or to save as uh, you can use them here or you can use from the application button it's up to you. I personally don't use either because I always use shortcuts when doing a new drawing or when saving or saving as. So um, I'll let you choose. Okay, moving on, looking at the top row of commands here. If I go all the way to the right, right here, you will see this section. I believe this is called the info center. And essentially, the info center will, will show you if you're logged into your Autodesk account. Mine is not showing my Autodesk account right now. It's not showing it logged in. Um, there's not much to do here, actually. I never use this. Um, the only time I would use the info center uh, area is when, when I first installed the software on the computer and just to put the license information, essentially, so... So other than that, I, I don't personally use it for any other reason. So that's, those are, so these are three, the application button, the quick access toolbar, the info center are all on the top, raw, and, and that's kind of their names. By the way, you don't have to, you don't need to remember the names of these sections. I'm just putting them here for your reference. Um, I just remember them because I'm referencing a sheet that has their names. You can always Google. You can always Google AutoCAD interface, and you will find hundreds of pictures that give you the name of each portion of the interface. Okay, so 
going with this right now okay so under that under the application and the quick access toolbar if you look here you will see that we have these groups of commands they're all grouped under home under insert under annotate view manage and so on so basically these i've heard people call them different things i've heard people call them palettes uh, ribbons tabs i've read several autocad documentations of the software sometimes it says tabs sometimes ribbons and again sometimes palettes and i'm just gonna write that down here so you have ribbons tabs or palettes okay so so the ribbons so the ribbons they're named each one of them is named because it has a collection of commands the home ribbon specifically has a collection of of different commands it has the drawing commands it has modifying commands it has some of the annotation commands it has a section for the layers but for example the annotation which is essentially the text in the the, the dimension elements um, they also have their own full-blown uh, ribbon or tab and here you can see the full breakdown and the different commands uh, that relate to creating a text that relate to creating a dimension to creating leaders or arrows and to creating tables so so in the home ribbon you there's annotation commands but there's also a ribbon dedicated for that okay and also back to the home ribbon you also have this this section right here with the block and also this one there's a ribbon for it or a tab which is the insert that allows you to bring in information inside the drawing such as blocks such as uh, references such as other drawings or importing more information from other places so so that's regarding the the home ribbon and i'm gonna bring back the the notepad okay so the ribbon the home ribbon specifically this is where you will spend you're gonna sp i would say like 80 percent of your time when you're using autocad you're gonna be using commands from the home ribbon so um other than that personally i use the insert i use the annotate because i need to go into more commands for the annotation commands for the insert i use view and manage other than that output and collaborate i don't use them personally um and anyway i will talk later on about about the about these ribbons in different videos when i talk about certain topics related to them okay so ribbons, tabs, palettes. I want to add that that under each under each section in a ribbon, for example, the draw, you can click here on this arrow, and you will even see more commands related to more drawing commands. Essentially, they're just bundled together. They're hiding under a menu, right here. The same for modify. There's additional commands. So whenever you see arrows under a certain section there's definitely commands like more additional commands that relate to that so so you can click that and see them um, so yeah that's that let's bring back the notepad okay so now we have so so far we have seen the application button quick access info center and we looked right under we looked into the ribbons now going down now through these commands here when you come to this section you will see that we have a start tab and a drawing tab so this area is essentially called the file tab so file tab this is where you would see the starting menu i'm gonna click on it this is what we see when we first start up uh, the autocad software this is where you can start a new drawing open an existing drawing and the file tab essentially allows you to have multiple drawings open at the same time so i'm gonna click on start drawing to create a new drawing okay so see now we have drawing 3 drawing 2 and you can filter between them so this is called the file tab 
Sometimes when you're working on big projects, you might have maybe six drawings open at the same time and you're just opening and switching between the different files, maybe drawing something here and putting some notes in this drawing and then maybe creating another new drawing. So that's, re that's regarding the file tab. Okay. And back to, to the notepad. So that's file tab. File tab, literally it acts like the browser. AutoCAD behaves like, a, like an internet browser. You can have several, several projects open at the same time. Okay, so under the file tab, which is in this area, this is, this is what's called the drawing area. So drawing area is where, where you draw your project, where you work. Here you will see the model area. And um, speaking of the model area in AutoCAD, there is uh, uh, the model area is where you draw everything. And then I'm just going to look at this section here at the bottom left. And you see there's the word model, and that's what's active right now. And then there's layout. So layout is basically where you go to, to print your sheets, to put uh, notes, and then you print this, this area. Um, so back to the model. The model and the layout are part of the interface, of course. So I guess I'll just combine, I'll combine these two topics together. So this is the drawing area if, if you are in the model. And on the paper, you will see a defined area depending on the paper size you have selected. So back to the model. So drawing area, we said that. So switching between the model and the layout. So we have one model in a project, one model area, but we can have as many layout spaces as we want. So you probably figured that this section here in this corner, it's called the layout section, um, the layout section. So here I'm gonna click on the plus sign right here. And now we have a new empty layout. And these two layouts are in the same drawing, drawing two. So we can have, we can create as many as we want. I'm just clicking on the small plus sign. So here we go. We have four layouts and model. So quick note, you can have as many layouts as you want. Just one model. The model is essentially, the difference between model and layout is that mo the model area is an infinite space. You can put as much as information as you want while the layout is uh, like a specific space and it's usually the size of the paper you have um, set on this on this space. <clears throat> Excuse me, so going forward, so the layout, so actually let me show you how to do that. So if you wanna see the layout size, like how big the space is, you can go to the print menu. I'm gonna point with the mouse up to the print button right here asking me do you want to do batch plot for now we're just gonna say continue to plot a single sheet and right here you can see that the paper size is letter I'm gonna click cancel going back to this layout it says D size and again if you want to see it you can just go to the print menu continue to plot a single sheet and then this one is actually uh, architectural D size so it's 24 by 36 inches okay so I'm gonna click cancel on this one so that was regarding this section of the interface and now I'm gonna jump to the right section the right bottom section of the interface and bring back the notepad so drawing area we talked about the layout tabs file tabs See, that's the reason why I don't like to call the, the ribbons as tabs because, I mean, we can call it, I guess we can call them command tabs, maybe. Command tabs, since we have file tabs and we have layout tabs. And now the, the last area I want to talk about in this video, uh, the last section, is the bottom right section right here. And this one, this one I call them the drafting settings these commands here. So these commands allow you for precision and um, and they allow you to, to have different um, reference commands. For example, I'll just show, I'll just show a quick one, quick one here. Um, if you click on this icon right here, this is for the grid. So this button here will show you, will show you a grid on the background of your software. If you click it back, it will hide it. 
Uh, I personally like to have it. I don't know why it was off, so I'll keep it on. And another one, and another one here that you might see immediately is this one, the ortho mode. I'm just gonna click on it, and I'm gonna start drawing a line. For now, I'm just gonna use the mouse. I'm not gonna use the keyboard. Um, just gonna click here and see what ortho mode does it essentially locks the drawing command into 90 degrees line so if I go with the mouse up it will give me 90 degrees or 90 degrees here I'm gonna click with the mouse left button to select here here and maybe reference this point here and then come back and then you can right click with the mouse to say enter to finish the command or you can say uh, you can click enter on the keyboard to finish the command. So grid and ortho are two commands that are part of the drafting settings. I'm not going to talk about the rest here in this video. I'll, I'll make a dedicated video that, that discuss the drafting settings. But um, that was it for, for this video. And um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.